I'm gonna start taking off my coat. No, wait, 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 wait. You saw that in first person. I know. Okay, just hear me out then. If you saw that in first person, that means it happens to you. So mm -hmm. let me go down and tie my coat to your coat, just in case you can throw it out to me, should I need a lifeline. Oh, all right. How, like, can I gauge how deep this pool looks? I mean, it's pretty deep. I don't think tying your jackets together is going to be deep enough so, to reach all the way to the bottom. My thought is, Sam, if you go down there and you get in trouble, I'll, I'll still have to jump in anyways to get you. True. Better only one of us be put in risk, and I am the better swimmer. No, because if something happens to you, I'm going to have to jump in too. It's part of my... No, I am, I'm going to tell you not to right now. Well, I'm not going to be able to not to. So let me go this time. Reggie, nah, and if anything goes wrong, you can come to my rescue. I'm going to tell you right now, don't put yourself at risk. I honestly have nothing left to live for. It's better for it to be me. I'll tell you what, I'll let you go if you answer me one question. Right. All right. And I'm going to use my psychology when I ask this question. Okay. All right. Okay. Nice. So if we're going to everybody's worlds to help them, you've been very non-discreet on what you need help with. What is it you're needing help with? I'm very honest when I say I don't know. The fact is, I haven't been honest with you a lot. I am a criminal. And I'm there to mutiny a ship and steal some treasure. You would have to hurt people. And I know people like Frankie would not want that. If you helped me, you'd become criminals. You'd kill, you'd see people die. I have nothing left. Let me go. Hold on, I gotta do an empathy check. Mm -hmm. Oh. Alright, with that, because I still have empathy, I'm gonna dive into the pool. <gasps> oh, so you're just gonna go in. All oh, right. daddy issues. <laughs> now, here's a question. With or without your glasses? With my glasses. With your glasses. With my oh, I'm boy. just going in. All right, you're going to go in with your glasses. So as long as they're on your face, you can still see without a lot of penalty. But the water is still pretty murky. So you're going to go. I would like for you to roll me an athletic swim. Uh, Black Powder, you're welcome to react to this, too. I'm so. just gonna sigh. <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna sigh. And just kind of keep an eye out and see if I see anything moving towards him, I'm diving. Okay, I would like for you to also roll a perception roll, please. Yes. <laughs> nice. I'm good today. Sorry, what was the 10 versus 9? Um, that's that my strength five? to swim. Oh, strength to swim. So, you didn't you, you 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 failed, but not like you're not drowning. You're just moving slowly. I'm just gonna say, so you're not moving super fast through the water. Um, but I will say though that because you with it because you did fail, um, your glasses did like come off of your face. So now you're you can you're not you're have, gonna have trouble like seeing. Um, meta, I have a meta question. Yes. Um, would health be better for you, Joe, for Sam? Because swimming is health. HT. No. Oh, oh, that I was would swimming health. health. All right, you, that's sorry. Then I made no, you're the wrong good. Thing. You're good. I didn't need so to roll. Think about that. Yeah, roll your health instead. Reroll it. No. Still, no. Uh, still I'm, failed. No. Okay. I'm trying to help you. That's out. a good question. Good attempt, though. That's all right. So your glasses 
go off your face. So unfortunately, now with your glasses off your face, you're blind as a bat almost. <laughs> so you're gonna go. I, I attempt a spot check. Just just show me what your raw roll is at spot. I just want to see what the raw is. Ten versus ten. Wow. Okay. So you're gonna swim. Attempt to swim where you think Black Powder. You definitely feel like he's off in terms of going towards the key. But at the same time, you're gonna see some things swimming towards him, and they look not like normal fish. They look very long, and dare I say, snaky, snake-like. I'm diving. You're gonna dive in. All right. You dive in. I'm gonna dive in and go directly towards Sam. Health swimming. Why can't I use strength? <laughs> right now it's better. I know, sorry. I was trying to help out, you know, Sam at the moment. I was like, at least. I, I succeed. All right. Okay. You will manage to get to Sam before those things get to you. Yeah. What happens? Because you can't talk underwater. I'm going to grab him and just start pushing him upwards and pointing frantically, like, go, go, go. Okay. Uh, it's up to you, Sam, to decide what you do from there. You can see. You can still kind of see Black Powder grabbing you and pointing direction. Um, going to abandon, I gotta do another check. Okay. Yeah, I'll figure without my glasses I'm not gonna be able to find it. I'll start moving up. You're gonna start moving up. Alright. He starts moving up, I go down and get the key. Alright. So if you start moving up, uh, effectively without your glasses, you will get to the surface, Sam. But without your glasses, you're going to get a minus four penalty to anything sight-based okay. at the moment until you can get your glasses back. As for Black Powder, roll me another health swimming check. Yes, I'm good. Good, good. So you're going to make your way over. You'll be able to reach the key. Now at this point, these snake-like things are starting to swarm in your direction. So in order to reach the surface, I'm going to need you to roll really well with one final health um, health uh, swim check. I fail. Okay. You will start to go swim up. You reach half halfway up the pool, but then you're going to start feeling the snake-like things start to wrap around your limbs, wrap around your waist, um, and uh, I'm going to say because you're part of the health in the swim check, I think is like keeping your oxygen. So I am going to say that you will start to lose a point, a point of damage. I was going to say like these aren't attacks; they just happen, right? Right, there. Well, it's. I, I, I'll, I'll let you dodge. Well, I, I sure. ask because I have brawl, which lets me parry. I will let you do that. Try yeah. and like knock yeah. him off Legit. as I go. Sure. Okay. Go ahead and roll and tell me if you succeed. Okay. Um, parry, and I can do it twice because of brawl because I can use both hands. That's fine. You can do that. That's perfectly fine. One success. Okay. Two successes. Okay. okay. Two successes. You don't lose any energy. You don't lose the hit points. You're still halfway up the pool, so um, you still need to cut the the next half. As for Sam, what are you doing? I'm gonna say that you can probably get a sense that Black Powder is possibly struggling underneath you, but you also can't see very well. So who knows what's going on right now? Well, I can't leave Black Powder, so I'm going to. Man, there's not much I can do. I'm just gonna try to get to the edge of the pool and signal by like slapping the water and making a ruckus. Okay. You can do that. Um, roll me another health swimming, please. Oh yeah. Nice. So you're gonna try to slap the water just to give Black, black Powder a sense of where to, where to swim. Yep. Black Powder, roll me another health swimming, please. I'm good. Good. You will break the surface. These creatures are now still making their way towards you. So, um, 
I will. You've you reached the surface, so you're not in danger of drowning yet, of losing air. Roll me one more health swim to reach the side of the pool, where, and because I will do, I will say that because Sam is slapping the water, go ahead and give yourself a plus one bonus to this. Plus one bonus to this. Still good. You're still good. You will reach the surface. You will be able to pull yourself up with the key, just as these um, snake-like things uh, reach, and they start to pop their head out, and they've got like razor-sharp teeth. Whatever these creatures are, they've got these razor-sharp teeth, um, and they start trying to snap at you. But you, by that point, you will have reached the the surf, the edge of the pool. Because I took my Lerman's jacket off, I'm gonna put it, uh, pick it up, and like flop it over Sam. Yeah, maybe you should have gone. That's the smart one. <laughs> Says the smart one. <laughs> Sam, your glasses are nowhere to be found. Can you see at all? Well, I can see, just not really well. The funny thing is, you're gonna have to see for me <laughs> because I'm not going back in. So you describe everything, and Sam, we'll just keep going on. If we run into words, we're screwed. <laughs> well, maybe you can describe them to me. <laughs> this, is, this is a comedy of errors. I swear, our pairing. Oh my gosh. Blind <laughs> leading the blind. What the fuck? <laughs> This is the best thing ever. <laughs> All so right. Good. <sighs> describe me. Describe wish... me the list. Oh, God. I'm debating jock stuff versus black powder stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> Por que no los dos? Because <laughs> it's like, I, I could probably get your glasses. You are both. I'm a good swimmer. And I always know what direction I'm going in. <laughs> But if, but if I get hit, I'm dead. get in trouble, <laughs> then I'm blind anyhow. Let's, let's just go forward, I think. I think so. I think we'll be fine. All right. Yeah, I'll unlock the door. Out of character, for the entertainment value, I think that's better. <laughs> for the, Probably. No, the epic. Yes, but, the like, epic. <laughs> BP would have wanted to go get those glasses because he knows he could. he knows he could probably do it. Jocks don't think that way. <laughs> it's, it's a major conflict in my head with that. <laughs> you will be able to use the key to unlock the door, um, and you will, and the door will swing open. We're going to now move to Tori. So the last we saw Tori, she was by herself now, and she, before her, she was pretty much surrounded by nothing but a big giant cornfield. What do you do? I think she's just taking a few moments right now because <laughs> she's still freaking out. Um, she's clutching her dolls really close to her chest, almost hyperventilating at this point. And she's just looking for anything that could be a sign of hope <laughs> um, to help her friends out. <laughs> to get, help get them out of the house, too. Because maybe outside is better. <laughs> so, yeah, she's kind of looking... She, she would be looking around the area to see if she could find anything. Has she gone into the cornfield yet? Um, I, I'd say she just she's just outside of the cornfield where the house is. Yeah. I mean, you're just going to look around the general area, but... I wouldn't say that there's anything in particular of interest right now. Okay. Well, she, I guess she'll go into the cornfield then. All right. You're going to make your way into the cornfield. And this isn't like a corn maze. There isn't like a cut path. You pretty much have to <laughs> make your way, brush your way through the cornfields. And roll me a perception hearing. No. Nope. Okay. So you're just gonna keep you're just gonna keep moving, and then eventually you will reach the edge of 
the cornfield, or at least to a section of the cornfield. And you will end up finding before you um, this rows of a few scarecrow looking things. And these are very creepy looking scarecrows. They've got like very old and tattered clothes on them. Um, and some of them are like hanging with their limbs in very unnatural positions. Um, and in the middle of this small clearing of scarecrows, you actually see a little boy and a little girl. And the little boy and the little girl, they're just kind of frolicking around. They seem to be playing a little bit. Well, more specifically, the boy is frolicking around and playing a little bit. But the little girl, she sort of has what appears to be some wildflowers. And these aren't like bright colored, happy looking like wildflowers. They're dark, they're shriveled, they're dried. And she's just kind of like, you know, very stoic look on her face, very like non, um, yeah, completely stoic look, just like yanking, pulling out the the petals off of the these flowers, and that's what she, all she's doing. While the little boy is just, you know, bounding around. I would say like their ages are probably like maybe the boy is eight years old, seven years old, and the girl is closer to nine or ten. Um, well, she's not alone anymore. <laughs> nope, not alone anymore. Um, so, I know everyone's shaking their heads, but she is put a little at ease with this, and she will um, approach the two kids with their dolls out um, and try yeah. to get down on their level. Do you approach the boy or the girl? Because uh, they're not necessarily right next to each other. I guess, yeah, we'll go for the boy first. You'll go for the boy? Yeah, so the boy is just kind of, you know, prancing around. And he's humming this tune. Um, and the way that the tune is going, um, it's... Um, it's, it's in a dissonant key, I think is the right word to say it. So it's, by that I mean, it's got a very creepy melody to it. So, um, but yeah, he's just kind of humming it to himself. La, 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 la. Um, but when he sees you, he'll stop. And then he's got this big smile on his face. But like, I'm not talking natural. I'm talking like Stepford Wives. You know, a uh, very big smile in his face, his eyes go wide, and he'll... He, he doesn't even say hello, he just looks up at you. And he's just big, 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 Joker-like smile in his face. <laughs> um, she'll cautiously approach him and be like, Hey, uh, what are you playing? Do you want to play with us? Yeah. Because I'm playing with my friends. He says, pointing at all of the scarecrows. Oh, these are your friends. What are their names? That one is Scruffy. That one is Wilma. That one is Ted. And then, and then, um, and then that one is Debbie. Oh, and the one over there, and he's pointing at, it's a scarecrow that is just a mound of like hay, basically. That one is Scooty Poo, but he's not born yet. He's still a fetus. Still a fetus. Okay. Uh huh. What game are you guys playing? Can I join? Do you know the rules? No. Teach me. Oh, okay. He says. So at that point, um, he says. We're playing Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo, and he pulls out what looks like a machete from nowhere. He pulls out a machete. Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let and he goes through the whole thing. 
My mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are not it! She says, and he jumps up and he just cuts off the head of the scarecrow, just hacks it off. Here, your turn, he says, and he'll hand you the, the machete. Um, she will grab the machete, um... <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, what about your sister over there? Is she playing? No, she says this game is dumb. She says that this game is, she's too, what's the word, sophisticated to play this game. She says Neanderthals play that game. Well, why don't we see what she would like to play? <laughs> Something okay. we would both like. But I bet you it's going to be boring. I'm willing to take that chance. <laughs> and she will hold on to that machete. She's not giving it back. All right. You can hold on to the machete. <laughs> yeah. Right? Sure. Mm -hmm. So the little boy is just going to skip next to you. And he's still got this, like, very forced smile on his face. Uh, and you go up to the girl. And the girl, she doesn't even, like, notice you approach. She's still... Pulling leet like petals out of her, out of her, um, out of her flowers. Excuse me. Um, what's your name? Her eyes suddenly <laughs> like that towards you. Thursday. This is my brother, Pigsley. It's really nice to meet you, Thursday and Pigsley. I, uh, heard you're not really into your brother's little game over here. Is that true? His games are for little kids. I'm not a little kid. I can see that. What kind of... grown-up games do you like to play? Do you like to play grown-up games? Yeah. If I tell you what kind of grown-up games I like to play, will you play with us? As long as it doesn't involve um, any of my friends getting hurt, yes. Who are your friends? Um, there's a group of people back in the house over there. Oh. Okay. They're all my friends, and I'm, I'm very worried about them, so w will you promise me you won't hurt them? I don't even know who your friends are, so even if I wanted to hurt them, I couldn't. That doesn't sound like a promise. <laughs> I won't hurt your friends. Okay. Okay, I'll play your game. Good. The adult game that any sophisticated person plays is truth or dare. You pick first, truth or dare. Uh, <laughs> truth? Truth. And then with that, she, she'll say, okay, turn around. Turn around. Uh. <laughs> But that's not that's not truth. That that seems more like a dare. My question requires visuals. Turn around. Oh, okay. Okay. She turns around. <laughs> You'll turn around and you're gonna see all of the scarecrows again. But the scarecrows have changed. The scarecrows are all changed. And this time, all of the scarecrows are now dr dressed in the exact same clothes as your friends. They're all dressed in all the same clothes as your friends, including Veed. And then she's going to say, here is my question. Hypothetically, if you were forced to choose one of your friends to die first, which one would you pick? And no, you can't pick yourself. Go. Can I choose Dare instead? No. 
You already picked truth. You have to stick with truth. It's the rules. I don't know if I like this game, Thursday. Are you a little kid? Are you too kiddy to be playing this adult game? No, I'm an adult. I'm, I'm, I'm an adult. <laughs> she says not sure at this point. What's your answer? Yeah, what's your answer? The Pigsley says, and he's got this big smile. He just can't have to speak. Oh, this is such a fun question to answer. He's like, yeah, yeah I want to know what your answer is. Oh, oh. <laughs> out of character, this is awful. I uh, bet it is. Yeah. Let's be real. Tori probably have thought about this, like, I would rather kill Blah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fine, I'll play. He says, I'm gonna give you ten more seconds if you don't answer, then you lose. What happens if I lose? Wait ten seconds and find out. Um, okay, oh. hypothetically, hypothetically, that me and Black Powder haven't gotten along, so, Black Powder. This'll put a tick mark on black powder, please. <laughs> She'll smile as soon as you see that the scarecrow of black powder starts to like wither away and sh and shrivel up, and then bloop, it'll drop down. And Thursday will say, "Don't worry, it's just a scarecrow. It's just pretend. Your real friends didn't get hurt." Okay. Okay. Your turn. You get to ask any of us, truth or dare. Okay, Thursday. Truth or dare. Hmm. She says, truth. Oh. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I wanted to be dare. I wanted to be dare. And then she turns to Pigsy. No, she said me first. She'll pick you next. Truth, she asks <laughs> defiantly, and then she's like, she's like ready. She's like, tell, hit me with your best shot. Um. Okay. Do. Do you know how to make all the bad guys in that house stop attacking us? What bad guys? The the big bad guy with the weed whacker inside the house? The guy with the weed whacker's not bad. He keeps the cornfields trimmed. She'll show, um, the, like, gash on her shoulder. This is what he did to me. She looked at it. Maybe you deserved it. Maybe because it was your fault. She goes quiet. Um, Maybe she thought that it was your fault. She? She nods. You know who I'm talking about. You asked me the truth, and I'm telling you the truth. So you, you know Carmen? You know where, do you know where Carmen is? I don't know where she is. But if she knew what you did... I'm sure she would be mad. I, I know that. I know that. I know I messed up. And she's just kind of trying to hold back the tears right now. Is that all the truth you wanted or do you want me to tell you more? You tell me more. It's better I know than not. What do you want me to tell you exactly? I don't know how to stop the bad person because he's not a bad person. He's always been nice to me and my brother. Well, can you, is there a way for you to talk to him, to tell him to stop? No, oh, I don't tell him what to do. 
well, can you help my friends find their way out of the cabin? Can you at least do that for us? I don't know your friends. Why would I help them? Because they're good people. And they don't, they don't deserve to be in there. If anybody, it should be me. There are no good people. Not really. Everyone's bad. To some degree. Some are worse than others. But there are no good people. Why do you say that? Because it's the truth. That's why. So are you saying you're not going to help get my friends out of there? I couldn't help them. Is there someone who could? She kind of shrugs. I don't know. Are we having fun? Uh, Figly says, this is a fun game! Can I go next? Can I go next? She, she turns to you. Are you, I don't know if she's finished yet. Are you finished with me or do you want me to go next? Um. <laughs> what else can you tell me about this place? Why you're here? We're here because you aren't letting go. That's why. Letting go of what? You're not letting go of the truth. That's what you're not letting go of. You're not letting go of, of what actually is happening. And what's actually happening? You'll find out soon. You'll find out very soon. And with that, like, this kind of, like, fog, like, kind of just passes over the children. And then Thursday just disappears without a trace. And the flowers that she was holding just kind of falls down. And you can see that the flower that was already kind of dry and shriveled starts to shrivel up even more and blacken and just just falls into ashes in the in the ground. And Pigsley just like looks up at you and he's still got this like big smile on his face. Is it my turn? Is it my turn? Can you tell me, ask me truth or dare? Ooh, I want dare, he says without you even responding. What do you dare me to do? Uh, I, I dare you to get me and my friends out of here, please. Oh, I know a way out. I know, I know a way for you to get out of here if you want me to take you. Yes, but we need my friends too. They need to come with us. I can try to find them next. I have to go find them though. Okay, I'll, I'll help you find them. Follow me. And then he's gonna hold out his hand. I guess she'll And you're gonna take him? <laughs> yeah. And so he's just gonna walk, still has that big old smile on his face, and he's just gonna take you through the through the cornfield. Doesn't seem to even notice or care that his sister is currently disappeared. Doesn't seem to notice at all. So he's taking you through the cornfields. And as you're taking the cornfields, roll me a perception hearing, please. Let's see if I hear it this time. Okay. Okay. You are gonna hear in the distance the sound of a weed whacker. And it seems to be coming in your direction. And it doesn't seem like Pigsley is phased or noticed this yet, unless you wanted to point it out to him. Yeah. Did you hear the weed whacker? That's the guy I was talking about. Oh yeah! He's here too. I think he wants to hurt you. Should we go to him? No. He says with a big smile on his face. No, 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 can we, can we avoid him, please? Why not? He's just gonna hurt you. <laughs> He's already hurt me. I think we're done with that. Oh, you're getting bored of that? Yeah, oh. and this isn't part of the dare. Oh, you're right. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm just, I'm not that good at this game. I'm still learning. My sister told me the same thing. Okay, I have to focus. Um, this way, he says, and he's going to start moving. Um, but he's not very, he's just kind of, he's not running through it. He's just kind of 
casually, okay, it's this, this way, it's this way. Meanwhile, you can hear the, the um, noise of the weed whacker coming closer and closer. And he's just like, oh, you know, we're just going this way. Just walking, like, casually without any sort of, like, sense of uh, urgency, I guess. Pygmy, why don't we add another element to this game, another rule? Oh, yeah, what should we do? Yeah, what should we do? We have to run. <gasps> I can do that. We can run as fast as possible. Yeah, let's run. Okay, let's, let's run. run. <laughs> and he's gonna go run, and and this time you're gonna pick up speed. Go ahead and roll a dex. He'll be able to keep up with you. Okay. He'll okay. be able to keep up with as fast as you are. So go ahead and roll your dex. Ten versus ten. Okay, not bad. So you're gonna be able to like get some distance apart from the from the sound, and you're just gonna keep running. You're gonna keep running, and you're gonna keep running. And then finally, finally, the you you reach the actual edge of the cornfield and before you is this huge um dilapidated abandoned looking building structure and um it based on some of the signs it doesn't show like a full name of what the structure is but it is an abandoned asylum abandoned asylum the way out is through there he says pointing at the asylum okay uh, okay um now we just need to find my friends i'll find them i'll bring them here okay. so that you all can leave yes yes okay i'll go now am i doing well in the game did i win yet you're doing great uh, can i come with you <laughs> to go find the friends. They might be a little alarmed by you, so I just want to let them know you're you're with me. If you want to, and, and while he says that, the sound of the sound of the um, weed whacker is getting closer and closer and closer, like in your direction. Yeah, so let's let's run to them though. We don't have a lot of time. Okay, okay. Um, um, he says, the fastest way to them though is we have to, we're going to have to Get pa- cut right past the uh, the weed whacker guy though. That's the fastest way. He won't hurt me, but he might hurt you. So it's up to you if you want to follow me or not. So then, as he says that, he's just gonna book it, oh. and he's just gonna run towards the direction of the weed whacker guy because he's not afraid of him. Yeah, and I assume the weed whacker guy would still be coming in my direction. Oh, yeah. He would be coming. Oh yeah, heck yes. Uh. So it's up to you if you want to follow. Try to follow him through the. Cornfields, or go straight for the asylum. It's up to you. Um, yeah, she will do whatever it takes to avoid being alone, so she's, she'd probably follow the boy. All right, you're gonna try to follow the boy. Okay, so you're going towards the weak whacker sound. Mm-hmm. Roll me a perception, followed by a dex. <laughs> perception fails. And that's fail. All right, you're going to try to make your way. Um, you failed both your perception and your dex, mm-hmm. but you're still focused on getting to this weed whacker guy. Finally, you get to a place. The weed whacker guy has basically cut sort of like a path through with the weed whacker through the cornfield, and he very easily manages to find you. And then he's going to just grab a hold of you, and he's. He's gonna like because of you failed. He's just immediately gonna pin you down to the ground. I'll allow you to roll a strength roll minus six to die to break out. You don't even need the minus six. It's already bad. <laughs> you need a crit succeed here. I didn't. <laughs> okay. He has got you struggling. Meanwhile, we're gonna jump over to uh, the Sunshine Twins. Oh again. my God. So- <laughs> So, the Sunshine Twins, you will, you open the door last, and you will find yourself outside. And you'll find yourself at the edge of a cornfield. And suddenly, you're going to, I guess I'm going to give you some cha- a, t- a chance to like do any, to talk before, yeah, give you a chance to RP for a little bit before the next thing happens. So what happens? I'm up against the door again because I'm still sure. thinking he's coming. Yeah, he is gonna of course. do this, and Absolutely. I turn and look outside. Is like, um, door? 
Uh, do you <laughs> see this, bro? Like, we're, we're outside, man. And there's corn. I am hungry. <sighs> but, um, I know now's not a time for eating. So maybe we should just run into the corn and hide from the big guy. And if we stay close and we move fast, we could lose it. Sure. I look at the door. Is there anything to like lock it or kind of wedge it or anything? Or we we're gonna have to like book it. There, there, there is nothing. Nothing. There's um. Nothing. Yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. Okay, Star. I trust your decision-making skills. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> let's on let's account. Just try. Ca- on on account of three, like on three or after three. On three. On three. Okay. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Six. We got running for it. What 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 happens? You're running into the cornfield. What's happening? Yeah, because we're thinking yeah. the dude is gonna come through this door. So if we at least hide in the corn. Yeah, you're gonna run through the cornfields. You're gonna run through, and I mean, you're gonna run for a while through it. It's very thick, and you're you're not really gonna know where exactly you're going. But you, if you are here listening out, I'm gonna say you're not gonna hear anything. You're not gonna hear the sounds of footsteps. You're not gonna hear anyone brushing through the corn other than yourselves. You're not gonna hear the sound of the the weed whacker at all. It's just whatever sounds is coming from you. Star's gonna be like, Frankie, Frankie, holy shit, I'm a dancer, but this is impossible. And I don't think he's chasing us anymore. <gasps> we just left our friends, bro. Shouldn't we go back for them? We should. But how do we go back? Do we just turn around? I mean, should we That's listen out for going back mean? Right. I'm so sorry, Frankie. I feel so not myself right now. I just kind of feel like Starfire's in control. And Starfire is not the brightest tool in the shed, if you know what I mean, bro. I see it. Right? So we need our friends. Okay, so let's go back. But let's be stealthy as we can and listen, like listen out for any strange noises and see if we hear anything as we go back. Live. Let's do it. I will, since you're in the middle of a cornfield, I want you to roll an IQ navigation to know what direction you want to go. Black Powder would know this, though. Black Powder always knows what direction they're going. You, however, do not have this ability. Oh, no, Star got a chance. Okay, so, yeah, you succeeded, it looks like. So you both, okay, you looks like you both succeeded. So you you both are going to start making your way towards, you're trying to make your way back, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then as you're doing that, you probably have done done that for like a minute, and then you're going to suddenly hear a voice, a small voice of a child, a boy, saying, Tori's friends? Is Tori's friends out here? Are Tori's friends here? You've never heard the voice of this boy before, but that you're here. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, 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 here. Kid, kid. Over here. Oh, you're Tori's friends? Hold, I'll, I'll, I'll come over there. And then you can hear, like, sh- 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 <laughs> porn. Whatever. And then out pops up this, this kid, this, like, relatively young eight- eight-year-old kid. He's got a very, like, pale face, and, and he's got this big smile on his face, and he's I found you! I found you! I found you! You're Tori's friends, right? Yes! Uh, yeah. Where, where... Where is she? Yeah! Oh! Uh, she's over that way, he's pointing. I, I made a promise to her that I would help her friends, like, uh, escape and, and get a way out. So, I'm supposed to take you over to the way out. Take us to Tori. Chop, chop, kid. I don't know where she is now, but I can at least tell you where the way out is. <sighs> take us to Did her she... where she was. Yeah. Do you remember where she was last? Yeah, I can show you. Take she us. Says, All right. 
he's gonna like, you know, run and scamper through, blah, blah, blah. So you'll follow him for a bit, and then finally, like I said, you'll reach the edge of the cornfields, and you will see the abandoned asylum. The way out is through there, he says, pointing at the abandoned building. Where is Tori, kid? I don't know. Maybe she went inside. I told her to go inside. I still have to get your other friends. There's other friends, right? I have to go find them. Yeah? Yes. All right. Well, you can either wait here or go inside, but I'm going to go find the other friends. So, bye. And then he's going to rush into the cornfields. Bye. Rude. Uh, Frankie... Do you really think Tori's in there? Where could she be? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Um, Maybe we should call her? Are, are there any... Um, I'm gonna start to look around, like signs of like maybe footprints, um, seeing if there's a, a any kind of sense of if she would have gone in. Yeah, roll a perception. Is there like tracking? Is there like some I don't have a skill. skill? Let me see. Some just, I guess, guy? just perception. Okay, I'm a. Can I roll perception also? Sure. Okay. Ten. I failed mine. So, Star, you don't think that you see signs of a person walking into the into the um, asylum? At least not recently. Mm -hmm. You don't think. Okay, well, it doesn't look like anyone went towards the asylum. Um, should we call out for her? Maybe she's nearby. The kids seem to have just seen her. Uh, okay, that's fair. Uh, Tori! Tori! Start yelling. Tori! Like, uh, top right. of my lungs. Tori! All right. Meanwhile, um, Sam and Black Powder. So you made your way out through the door again. You will find yourself at the edge of a cornfield. What do you do? Uh, well, Sam, uh, you can't see. So uh, we're at the edge of a cornfield. We're outside. Oh, that's good. Um, it makes me think of Meridian's Paradox. Uh, okay, I'm not going to ask because I don't know if we have time. Uh... Well, what do you want to do now? Well, see, that's the thing with Meridian's Paradox. When you said you saw yourself or from a first person in the water, I saw what I thought was you being attacked by birds. That actually happened. You were attacked by birds. They did a lot of damage to you. Mm -hmm. You said you saw me being attacked by barbed wire. Yeah. We made it past the birds because they attacked you, and you made it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't your demise. No, and we even the water, like, I saw the things attacking me, but I was, I was able to swim past them. Right, exactly right. That's the paradox. It wasn't a demise. That's something that you had to overcome. Maybe we should go back and get my glasses. <laughs> Some... Considering this house seemed to keep changing, this might be the better place to be. Well, it was worth a try. I know, but hey, I believe if we get out of this world, then you won't need glasses. <laughs> no, that's that's very true. Well, I suppose corn. Let's maybe let's go through the cornfield. That way, at least. I mean, corn's pretty loud, so we should hear anything coming up on us. Yeah, yeah. We'll, that... we'll move slowly so we don't make too much noise, all right? Well, and so we don't trip, because... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's probably a good idea. All right, let's uh, head in, lead the way. I'm just, uh, I'll put my hand right on your shoulder, and just right there. All right. All right. You are going to make your way into the cornfields. Uh, roll me whatever you would roll for navigation. Um, let's see, because I do have a funky thing. 
You do, I think you do. I have what absolute is... direction. You always know which way is north, and you can always retrace a path. Okay, so... So I know which way is north. <laughs> right, so you know that north is actually straight ahead of you. So you can keep going north, straight ahead, but you tell me if you want to veer off a little bit. Should we just keep going straight for now, Sam? Yeah, until we have something indicating it something else. All right. Yeah, we'll just go straight for now. You're going to keep going straight, and you're very positive that you're continually going north. And then you will start hearing the voice of a boy go, Tori's friends! Are Tori's friends out here? Tori's friends! Hello? up to you with it, how you want to respond to that or, or not mm. yeah I'll call out hello 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 we're are you with Tori <gasps> you're Tori's friends Hi. oh okay hold on and you'll hear rustling like and then if you don't do anything else um, out pops this little boy same description as before. Oh good, I found more of you. I think that's one, two, three, four, four plus Tori makes five. Which is that all of you? Five? Which other two did you did you see? Other than Tori? Yeah. There's some person with pink hair and then some person with not a lot of clothes. Star and Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> what about, uh, what about, what about Did he, a uh, guy with green hair? Green hair, green hair. I don't think I saw anyone with green hair yet. Is that the only person left? I think yeah, so. the only person left. Okay, I can try to find them next after I take you to the way out. The way out? Did everybody else take the way out? I told them to. I don't know if they listened to me. But I told him to. Yeah, take us to where you took everybody else. Okay, follow me, he says. I'm good at this game. And he's just gonna have this big smile in his face, blah, 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 and he's just gonna like rush ahead. You can keep up with him if you'd like. Um, and as you get, as you, and the nice thing is because you kept going north, you didn't have to run very far. And you actually will start to hear Voices, Tori, Tori. So you can hear Star and 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 um, uh, Frankie yelling out. Oh, look! Those are your other friends. They didn't listen to me. Well, that's okay. Listen, um, can you find my glasses when you find Veed? Glasses, glasses. They were in a pool. Oh, pool! I know where that is. I can try. That'd be great. We'll wait with our friends while you get them and V. Okay. Uh, do I get what? Do, but I have a question. If I do this, I'm gonna win, right? I'll win the game if I do this, right? You'll win the game, and I've got a prize for you. <gasps> a prize? What kind of prize is it? Well, I can't tell. It's a surprise. Is it better than my machete? Yeah. <gasps> Better than my machete. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. He's just hopping around. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. He's in black powder shoulder at this point. Alright. Yeah, you have to get a very good price. Um, If you can find the bead and those glasses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he says, Thursday's gonna lose. Thursday's gonna lose. And then he's gonna run back into the cornfields. And you can still hear the, Tori, Tori. Now we'll call out, Frankie, Star. Sammy, I hit, Sam? I hit Star like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, we'll go. You. go forward. Yeah. We probably have a great cinematic moment where we just hug each other. <laughs> right? Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Group hug! <laughs> as, they go, as they go up, say, uh, contrary to popular belief, the amount of pathogens that can be transferred in 
hugs and handshakes is pretty horrible. I don't <laughs> care, bro. And I start like kissing you, like mm-hmm. right. Wait, BP, what's with your eye, chick? Like, what happened to you? Uh, I lost it again. It seems to be a reoccurring thing. <laughs> you have like the worst luck with eyes. If Apparently. I had my right, I oh just hope God. it's not permanent because if I leave this world, then I'll be missing both eyes. Shit. Then I'll be blind. Right. What happened to you guys? Why didn't you stay with us in the basement? Well, we tried to keep up, but then the house went all weird and shit. And then Frankie was dancing with his reflection, getting jiggy with it. And then his reflection attacked him. And then we ran away. And then there was this dollhouse. And then Frankie touched a doll and there were cockroaches. And then somehow we wound up being chased by this giant thing with a weed whacker. And then now we're here. Huh. What about you? Uh, we ran into birds, barbed wire and a really awful swimming pool. Gnarly. So but where is Dory? Yeah, the little kid said she was gonna, that he found her and she was here. Maybe she went inside? But there are no tracks leading towards the asylum. Hmm. Can we hear anything coming from the cornfield? No. Maybe yeah. Tori went back to look for us or something. Maybe. Who is the tallest aside from Frankie? Is it Black Powder? Normally it would be Mia. Yeah. Yeah, but your eyes kind of jacked up. Yeah. Oh, then that would be Star. And and our friend over here is also half blind because he doesn't have his glasses. Yeah, Star, do you mind? I'm gonna prop you up like cheerleader style. Hey, why, why don't I help you out so he has a better standing base? We'll both prop him up. Okay, so we both like <laughs> cheerleader you up. See if you can get a better view of the land. Okay. Do I need to roll a, a scene? Yes. Go ahead and roll a, a scene. Perception scene. Okay. There's a lot of cornfield stuff, so make uh, you'll get a minus. Okay. There's so many corns, it's cornfield, so minus four penalty. And you said fish. Minus two. I'll say minus two. Minus, minus two. two penalty. Minus two. What if I give him my binoculars? Ten out of ten, minus two. Do you, you can give him binoculars. Oh! Do you want to give him the binoculars? Yeah, yeah. We, need, we need all the help we can get. Yeah. All right. Okay. So it's primarily for vision. It's going to mm-hmm. add a plus four for uh, any search. Okay. So do I roll a 3d6 with that? Um, no, use your regular one and then just give yourself a plus four bonus. Okay, so okay. plus four bonus. Okay. So you can you can keep that roll. Oh. You can keep that. So you'll succeed. Okay. So you'll see the binoculars and then, and so you will, I'll switch over to Tori now. So Tori, you, this guy's got you, um, um, and he pretty much, um, has taken his weed whacker and he basically like just jams it onto the, your shoulder side here, and you will take... Two, 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 two. Oh my god. Uh, eight, oh gosh. Um, you will take three points of damage. Three points of damage. Um, and then you'll see, as this is happening, so you can hear the pain as like the flesh starts to like shred like parts of that, sh- of your shoulder, and you can hear um, the voice is saying, Tori! Tori! You can hear Frankie and Star calling out your name. Yeah. What do you do? I mean, I'll give you a chance to act. Yeah, she'll scream at the top of her lungs for help. Um, You'll, yeah, so go ahead, roll, um, yeah, go ahead and roll, uh, what would be to, to scream loud? Like, what kind of I, roll would that be? Try to scream really loud. Um, health? Health? Yeah, roll the health. Yeah. Health is a good one, because it's yeah. That works. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> so you'll start to scream really loud. Um, the the um, creature will then take his the weed whacker and then he's gonna jam it down onto your leg, dealing another three points of damage. I'm just curious how you're doing with your hit points. Yeah. Oh, that would kill me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. He does another three points of damage. 
And then finally, through the binoculars, um, you're gonna look through the binoculars and you're gonna find Tori and she's struggling with this hulking looking guy with a weed whacker. Mm -hmm. And you see him take the weed whacker and then he jams it into Tori's face. And then you see Tori's body like kind of flailing around like this <laughs> as he jams it into her face. And then suddenly she just stops, her body falls limp. And I'll end the session there. Oh my god. Take a moment. I was trying to look through the rules to save your life, girl. <laughs> wow. I was like, this can't be the end of Tori. Tori just saw a traumatic moment? Oh. I'm sure you have a lot of questions of what if I did this? What if I did that? <laughs> so get ready for that for the vlog. Let me save this off. I'm in shock. <laughs> I can't even react. It was such a good session. It was! Like... Remember, Tori's not the virgin. No. Tori's not the one who's supposed to live at the end. It's... it's... <sighs>